Hey guys, my name is Marta, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about Mona by Pola Olojurak, a book that was recently translated from the Spanish to the English and that has been intriguing many people recently, including me. This is also a book that I wanted to read to transition from my summer reading to my autumn reading, so that's why I've recently picked it up. The book is about our main character, Mona, who as a writer is invited to the celebration of the most prestigious literary award in Europe, which is going to take place in Switzerland in this very small village in the middle of the wilderness. The book takes place then in the middle of nature and in a way this setting serves as a metaphor, metaphor and as an excuse for the book to show the character's most natural instincts with, between which we can see sexual desire and their struggles including our main characters to deal with personal trauma and addiction. It's a book that features a huge cast of characters, all of which are a part of this intellectual circle and that share a bunch of knowledge and opinions that they want to share and discuss with each other. And these literary and very smart discussions are a huge part of the book and do not only serve as a critique for these cultural elites, but also criticize contemporary society. The book really shows how the different characters' backgrounds clash with each other and these clashes are sometimes even hard to communicate because they all have to speak with each other in a language that is not of their own. Language and communication is then a huge part of the book and the limits of that communications are very widely discussed in the novel, as well as the power of language. It's a book that might be filled with all of these intellectual conversations, but despite that, that does not make it hard to read. It's a book that might we have a very peculiar writing style, as most Latin American novels have, but the writing style is not inaccessible. It might well as well deal with very explicit academic topics, but they do feel accessible to the reader and they are easy to understand and reflect upon is a book that really shows how in this elite world of writers people are constantly labeling each other because of their background and how they see not only each other but also themselves. There are scenes where you can really see how people do not like and even criticize the things that are produced in their own country and admire and almost idealize those that are not from their background. It's a book that then really discusses how we see ourselves and how we see the rest of the world and it's a book that also in a way criticizes Eurocentric views and North American views of the rest of the world as you as the book heavily features how all of the white men in this scene see those other intellectuals that are not white as something different from themselves that they label and feel the need to have their opinion on what they have to say. It's also a book that is very smartly written. Uh, it might have a third person narrator but it's constantly diving into the mind of our main character and we really get to see the story from her own eyes in a way that we can really see her own suffering as he is dealing with some personal trauma and her own romantic and sexual needs. It's a book 
ooh, that features some surrealistic elements such as some foxes that our main character claims to see and some three mysterious men that make some mysterious appearances throughout the novel. It's a book that then we can say deals with the effects of drug addictions, of being under the effects of drugs, and a book that deals with coping and someone's coping mechanisms, as well as with things like obsession. It's a book that really does not shy away from showing the darkest parts of someone's mind, not only when it comes to their traumas, but also when it comes to their obsessions and desires. The book also does not shy away from showing explicitly scenes where we see people having sex or masturbating. It's a book that really shows the wildest but re most realistic parts of a female mind. It's a book that is not only explicit in a sexual way, as I have just said, but also a brutally honest review, I would say, of our contemporary society and of the elites that exist in it. It's overall a book that is a crazy wild ride that besides being almost too surrealistic at some moments, you will not be able to put down. It's a book that might make you as a reader question a lot of things about us as people who have access to literature and texts and a book that will make you reflect upon society nowadays. It's a very interestingly written story that does not shy away from showing the darkest parts of someone's mind and that is very weird and interesting to read and that is in general very very dark and twisted. When it comes to my personal opinion I really enjoyed the process of reading it and I really enjoyed how weird and dark it was. However I did give it 3.5 stars since I was expecting something different from it. I don't even know what I was expecting but it was not it. And that doesn't mean that the book was bad for me or that I did not like it. It's just that it surprised me in a very weird way that I cannot explain. So would I recommend this book? I would say yes. It's a book that you can say has been written by a very smart woman and a book that has very interesting discussions and very interesting themes to think about. It's also a book that I think would be fun to read in a book club. I think there is a lot to talk about in this book and a lot to discuss with some people face to face. And I also think that it's a book that would be interesting to reread because with all those surreal elements going on, I think that it's good to reread the story knowing how it ends in order to figure out their meaning and their place in the overall story. And I think that was all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you read this book and what are your thoughts on it. Give it this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. And I hope you have this gonna be seen and I will see you in my next video. Bye!